What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex. In this video, I want to talk about the Demon Souls remake. I kind of want to frame this as a why I'm going to be getting this game kind of thing, but talk about my impressions, my thoughts on this game, kind of give you guys a little backstory uh, on where I've come from with Demon Souls. Uh, this game, you know, with Blue Point, okay, we knew they had a couple options. We knew that it could be a resistance thing. We knew it could be like a siphon filter thing. It could have been a lot of different things. And am I disappointed we're not getting a resistance remake? Yeah, slightly. But you know what? This Demon Souls remake looks, uh, let's just cut the chase it looks absolutely incredible okay i you know blue point is basically at this i think at this point in the game the king of remaking games okay now there i mean there's been other ones and i guess maybe you could argue like final fantasy 7's remake is pretty darn up there um but what blue point has done so far with remastering with putting collections together obviously all the way back to the uncharted the nathan drake collection uh you obviously had shadow of the colossus all this different stuff they've done an incredible incredible job and when it comes to demon souls this game I mean, it looks unreal. It absolutely looks unreal, and I can't believe the excitement. I mean, I can believe it, but it's insane to see the excitement for this game, for a game that already came out, and that's honestly what's so great to see when it comes to these exclusives and when it comes to just, I guess, the PlayStation fan base is, and also remakes, right? The, the power of a remake is that this game holds a lot of memories to a lot of people. Now, I didn't get this game day one. I got this game very, very like later on in, in my uh, PlayStation 3 career. Career, um, but I also got the PS3 late, and I really did like this game. This was my first jump into the Souls games, right? Uh, and obviously, what they did with the Dark Souls, and obviously uh, going on from there, and Bloodborne, you know, they did a, a tremendous job. I honestly, I, I really do think that. And although I am absolute, and I will say this, I'm absolutely terrible at these games. Okay, I don't stand a chance at any of these games. I don't stand a chance of beating any of these games. Let me tell you again that this is a game that I would, I'm getting day one. I mean, I really don't. I, I think people that even aren't into Demon Souls that aren't into this kind of the Souls franchise I really think they still may get it I think it's got that kind of power uh, again there is something to uh, remakes there's always been something to remakes I think that's probably why uh, they've become so popular over the last couple of years but you got I think the best team out there that could be doing it in Blue Point right and again just everything in this trailer, re basically reimagining it, taking that scale up to something that the original Demon Souls on PS3, all so many years, it's been a long time, it's been a very long time uh, since Demon Souls, it could never even comprehend stuff like this. Uh, like this. What's going to be actually kind of funny is that is this game going to end up being bad? I, I know some people th still think that Demon Souls is, is the best of, of all, and everybody's going to have their, some people think Bloodborne's the best, some people think it's Sekiro, so everybody's going to have their, their favorite you know game in this. People think Demon Souls, you know, there are, are a group of people out there that think Demon Souls is the better one. I, I you know, I, I see where they're coming from. What's going to be funny is this is going to be possibly at the end of it like a unanimous like oh this is the best one now it's going to be the remake version it's not going to be the original version uh but it is it is just incredible uh again they had a lot of different choices they could have picked obviously demon souls was the one uh they rested on but i i really do think this is a good choice this is a game again you know, sony's done a lot of things right they've done a ton of things right and obviously the fact that this game is coming together is just kind of a signal that they've they've had successes uh in a, in a lot of different ways but a problem with Demon Souls was the fact that they didn't know what they had, which they have had that problem several times where they didn't know what they had with Until Dawn. They haven't had, they haven't known what they've had with a couple of different games uh, in their in their past. And Demon Souls is app with from software, absolutely one of them where they really didn't. I think understand at the time and again not everybody would but you got to be willing to take risks especially in that gaming industry and so they didn't snatch them up they didn't you know try and get them to make future demon I mean maybe they did but obviously it didn't turn out to, to happen right uh, but obviously we only got that one demon souls then they went to dark souls and you know kind of you know ballooned up from there so this is uh, what again what's funny is they they messed up not keeping from software and not doing this but this could end up being easily the best game and that it's still is so popular and so I, I think reminiscent of the early days of the PS3 and what we had back then and even again just of the the Dark Souls franchise that now we get to experience it again and again from uh, what's so special about it is someone like me now I guess you have to be willing to g give games like this a chance right I give pretty much any game that exists a chance I really really because I, I try and play as many different kinds of games I really I, I think that that makes me kind of different from a lot of people I really try and give as many games as humanly possible a chance uh, and so 
I, you got to be able to do that. But I'm terrible at these games, okay? I, I, to be honest, I don't think I'm terrible at all that many games. But genres, racing games, I'm not the biggest fan of. I'm also not the greatest at. Uh, fighting games, I like, but I'm not good at. And then games like this, the Souls games, uh, I am generally just not good. I love them. I think they're very, very smart. I think they're very different. Obviously, uh, they're a completely new genre. When Demon Souls really kicked it off, by the way, which is also another reason why it's kind of very special, is this is what kicked off that just, you, you know, games that you just uh, love because you hate them so much of how much they just kick you in the face, right, when you're down. Uh, this is basically what started all of that. But even from somebody like me, I mean, I played it. Didn't they remaster it? They remastered it on the PS4. I actually bought that as well and played like an hour of it. I've never gone back to it. But, you know, even someone like me who's bad at these games, who never got, got past like five, ten hours in Demon's Souls, I'm one thought, I mean, this is a game you got to get, right? You absolutely need to get. And the power Power that this can do on the PS5, it is pretty important. It really is. Don't undersell. And I don't think I don't really think anybody is, but definitely don't undersell how powerful this game can be for next gen. It's not a new game. It's not a new game built from the ground up. But I mean, well, it is. It is. It, I mean, that's the funny thing with remakes, is right? Is that it is basically built from the ground up, but it's on a, a pre-existing game, right? Uh, but definitely, this game can help. This game can absolutely help. You see what Bloodborne did with the PS4 and. You know, it'll obviously we'll have to see what happens when this game comes out to see if this can do the same thing. I don't know if this would be able to move things as easily or as, you know as well as Bloodborne did. I don't know if it'll be able to do the exact same thing. Uh, but obviously, I think it's very clear Sony's looking for that. Now again, the rumors of Bloodborne coming to PS5 and like a remaster that can only help. But this is really that Bloodborne of the PS5. That it's a game that so many people have so many amazing memories of of the PS3. Uh, obviously, skip the PS4 generation and here it is built back from the ground up like here you go you know what I mean so very very cool a game that I think we all I mean we could have seen coming obviously again we weren't 1000% sure what Bluepoint was doing they had a couple they had like three or four different games that people thought they could have been making could we still get those other games that people thought I think eventually we will and maybe not even from Bluepoint from other people um, but to see Demon Souls again and see it honestly in a way that we've never seen it before where it literally just looks like the next game in the iterate like you could call it demon souls 2 and people would believe you you know what i mean i would believe you right so like to see it like this is something that's incredible. One of the, uh, the 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 show stealers, I think, of the PS5 reveal event. Uh, again, not necessarily a game that's directly up my alley, but a game that I respect a ton, and also a game that I'm absolutely going to be getting day one on my PS5. Okay, so guys, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? You guys excited for this Demon Souls remake? Are you guys going to get it? Did you play the first? Did you obviously play the original Demon Souls. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed to this YouTube channel podcast. Now, hit the bell icon so you guys knowing these videos go up and thank you so much for watching guys i truly appreciate it and i hope to see you all on the next video